By Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Kirk Street. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. What a game we have in store for you today as two rivals are about to go at it for state bragging rights. And here come the Demon Deacons. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Sir, what do you think? North Carolina takes a big game from their talented running back. I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. The lead is going to be very close. i got to have to go with them, too. All right. Coach Corso sounds pretty confident, folks. Let's set it down to the field. The fans are on their feet and waiting to start this game as the players line up for the kick. We should have a return on this one. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. Right. Today we get to watch a spectacular athlete at running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, Defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game for them. That makes two of us in. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right. So it's second and ten. All on their own 23. Wake Forest goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The halfback picks up a yard. Third and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Deacon set up in the gun. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. Finds his receiver. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great look at pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. Ball in their own 43. From the gun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. Great defensive play by the quarterback. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Demon Deacon come out of the two tight end set. Got it open. And down he goes. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Deacon line up with two tight ends. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Watch the throw outside. And he's taken down. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. Uh, and the impact linebacker is turning up about it. He's him up, and he's tackled. A nice draw play there. Yep, the tailback had good awareness there, knowing exactly where he had to go to make the first down. First and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Wait for it. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Uh, throws it to the outside, and it's caught almost six yards on the play action. Right. Second and four coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. Uh, the impact player running back is in the zone right now. The halfback picks up a yard. Right. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They line up in the shotgun. They'll work the right side. They'll wrestle them down to the backfield. A loss on that one is he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuff. Uh, 
Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. The line folks at Pontiac bring us this summary of how that drive was played. Wait for it to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 29, builds it at the three. And now we'll see the offense set out on the field for their next possession. And the coach, you've got to be concerned with what the defense is doing at. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. And a lot from the shotgun. He drops back. Look, rolls right. Throws a lot pass out to the right. He's got a lot in the backfield. And we got an injured player on the field. on the extra point. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Wake Forest, 10. North Carolina, nothing. Number 38 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it deep. Number 31 feels it in the end zone. The offense gets ready to start a new drive. They just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shot at the 21. On the ground for the tailback. Brought down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This is what power football is all about. You've got to be able to run between the tackles. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 22. North Carolina lines up in a double tight set. They keep on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. That looks like a one yard game. For this play to work, everybody has got to do their job. You've got to have the blockers blocking, the receivers running good boots, and the quarterback making the right reads. Number eight comes to the line with three wide. Looking. He'll dump this one off. Complete. And there we go. We'll have a ball one there. Having ball control is important in football. And three and out is what you want to avoid for sure. The special team.
teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 45, hunts it, and it's a good one. Number five, fields it at the 26. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out of the field for their half possession. They'll start this try at the 34. Number eight, back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Nothing gained on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. They come out with a big set. Back to back, under pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. I haven't seen a defensive player of this down in a long time. He's doing one thing better than just about anybody else in school history. That's get to the quarterback. No question. Right. This is a big athletic guy. He's going to run right around those off the line. Wait for it. Comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. <laughs> Throws this one out to the right. That is all. And it's incomplete. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Are lining up to punt it away. <laughs> Number 81 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 10 takes it at the 23. <laughs> I'm once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. I run the misdirection counter, play with the defense a little. It's first and 10, all in their own 43. They come out with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Nothing gained on the play. Trying to have a little fun out there. Let's right. see if the old defense is ready for this point. Second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. North Carolina sets up in the eye. They go with the toss. And he's going to throw. It falls incomplete. Right, the players love to run these kinds of plays because it's out of the ordinary. It's what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call a play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. I think they have the wrong guy for the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. He was intercepted. So shake and bake move. A big defensive lineman trying to take it. The 10. Touchdown. Wait for it. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that was the worst thing that could happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And he hits the PAT. It's already started to get out of hand at the end of the first. Our score is Wake Forest, 17, North Carolina, nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 29 fields it in the end zone. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing the pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't a throw. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short hat line. Some people don't want to Three yard loss there. I love the play action pass. Take the hand off, get the defense to come up, and then bang over the top of the pass. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's tackled. That interception couldn't have come at a worse time for the offense. Yeah, you said it. It's only the first half, and we're talking about this team being out of the football game. Uh, uh, to get back in the game, it's to start making some defensive 
some stops and put some points on them. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Ace backfield on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. They keep it on the ground. The halfback hits about seven yards. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone number. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Wait for it. Lines up in a goal line set. Down to play. Makes a move. And down he goes. Couldn't get anything out of that. Right. They got to block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Awesome. Tackle. That'll be a pick up of the yard. This isn't much more than an excellent point. It's up. And it's right down the middle. Let's take his last now for Sunny X Rock Summer. Wait for it. It's ready to kick it away. Number 29 and number 31, deep to return. He puts it deep downfield. Number 29 feels it in the end zone. Let's watch the defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick from last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they can kill. They can kill. They can kill. They can kill. They can That's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. North Carolina comes out with two tight ends. Got hit as he threw. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Number 25. I'd sell the pass here, and then I'd hand it off to my halfback. In second down, it's 10 to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. And they hit it in the backfield. Loss of about two. You got to execute for this long on the situation. Just take the snap. Bring it in there. The tar here. Come on, showing three wide. He's looking. Let's it go. Caught at the 30. And he's taken down. And just had their record book is really great. Let me tell you something. With that catch, this fantastic receiver just broke the single season school record for reception. Congratulations. You played great football all year long and earned this record. It's been a heck of a year for you. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Throws it to the outside. And it's picked off. He's on the run. Brought down. And that was interception number three for this defense. And they got to be happy about that. All right. They'll go to work at the 27 yard line. Number 48 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Here's a pitch left side. He's into the open field. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Dina Deacon. Kurt, that was his second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Well, I bet on at least a couple more touchdowns for starters. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. And he hits the PAT. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Wake Forest, 27, North Carolina, nothing. 
Wake Forest ready to take this one off. Number 29 and number 31 set to return. Here's the kick. Number 31 fields it in the end zone. There's a missed tackle. Bunch of have been shaking up a bit on that one. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season ending. As a coach, you love mismatch. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. The Tar Heel and five receivers on this play. Look, he's looking down the middle. Has it to the senior. Inside the 30. That was a big time play, and we shut it down. I think the defense might be picking run this play. Well, I don't blame them. It's pretty common to see a one on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. When you can smell the end zone, you know you're right there. Now, smelling it and tasting it are two different things. You've got to be able to taste the end zone because it needs six points. Yeah. North Carolina comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And down he goes. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down to the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back when they have coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, you're not going to be able to sneak in a sneak back to them. That's the guy who works it in. Take on. Second and long, ball on the 31 yard line. They come out with a big set, hand it off. And he's tackled. That'll be a seven yard pickup. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. North Carolina lines up with a shotgun set. Looking, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Good pressure there, guys. Yep, good pressure and a good blitz by the safety. He comes in literally uncontested. I thought he showed really good athletic ability there, getting it into the quarterback. Nice play. You better kick it here. It looks like they're going to drive for the long field goal. Oh. He gets it up. And it's through the uprights. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. Number 45 looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. <laughs> Last time they thought they had the ball, they ran it very well, and they put it in the end zone. We'll have to see if that's their focus one more time. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Wake Forest comes out with two tight ends. A little two. Tackle. Game of two. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Number eight lines up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Down the middle. And he can't hang on to it. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Third and eight. Ball in the 22. Wake Forest lines up with a shotgun set. Back to pass. Got hit as he threw. Got it to the senior. Wake Forest takes a timeout. Right. It's first and ten. Ball in the 41. They line up in the shotgun. He steps up. He's looking. Fires deep down the left side. They've got him. And he's tackled in the open field. Wake for it. Calls the timeout. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. 
Number 13 wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. He's going left. It's it. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. Like this play is made to play a lot getting pass interference. This is a good football play. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 38 is lined up for the kick. It's up. And it's good. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summer. And remember the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1946. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchdown. I feel like Mr. Mitchell has no chance that this chip's going to run out of bounds and stop the clock. The Tar Heels. Lined up for the kick. Number 12, Jeff Hart. The hand it off. He's got an open. Brought down. And it's been total dominant here in the first half. Hart four. Wake Forest, 30. North Carolina, three. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He sends this one deep. Number 29 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. I run the misdirection counter. They put the defense in it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15. The Tar here. Line up with two tight ends. He's off on the counter. Big opening. And they make the stop. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front. And the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Number eight lines up with five wide out. Look. Throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. As a quarterback, you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. And this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. He drops back. Looking. He's going right. And that one's falling incomplete. I know it's incomplete, but still. Got to be impressed with the sit that he put on that. He did have some heat on it, that's for sure. Third and ten. Ball on their own 34. Number eight, back in the gun. Drop back to pass. Over the middle. And he dropped it. I know the pass was fired pretty hard, but still have to think that's why the only reason it's out there is to catch the football. And I have to put this one away. Number 45, hunts it, and it's a good one. Number five, eight with the 16. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. Right. So they find themselves on top to start the second half, and I think we all know why. Are you kidding me? Everyone who's at home watching this game knows why they're winning the running game. Uh, the running game? More like the running uh, back. He's the main reason they went into the half of the league. You're right, Kirk. I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise, though. I mean, heck, isn't he on the cover of the media guy? Well, I couldn't tell you who's on the cover of the media guy, but I can tell you is that this young man is going to be the reason they win this football game. Just keep giving him the ball, and he'll pick up the yards on the clock third thing. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, the bottom of the coach, I find this kid on the defense of every now and then. Wow, can you imagine that? On third quarter of that situation, he'd make a great play. situation. Ball on the 16-yard line. Wake Forest lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. They'll make the sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the bad luck play. They don't care how quick the receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. 
I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw it. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Yeah, he can line really up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 10, field just to 37. But before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by CA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 48 yard line. The Tar Heel come out of the two tight end set. He might have a chance. And down he goes. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running. When you're fresh one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Tar Heel. Line up with two tight ends. On the ground, up the middle. And he's taken down a couple, maybe three yards on that run. As a quarterback, you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. As you can see, they have really had some difficulty getting the ball down the field. You got that right, Brad. These guys yeah. have better step it up and take the when they have the ball. Or else it's going to be ball in the day. Over the middle. Break one. The 10. And they tackle them. That was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it. And now they have a first down. But I like it's just the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. Here's what I do. I get the ball of my cat back and let him run in for a score. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Here's the kid. And he stopped behind the line. Now that's what I'd love to see. A linebacker who plays downhill against a run. That guy knows exactly what the heck is going on out there. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. He's down under the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to throw him down for a loss. Nice call by the defense. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. North Carolina in a five-wide set. He's looking. He wants to throw outside. And they make the stop. They grab eight yards there. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it's right down the middle. Let's take a glance now to Pontiac Drive Center. North Carolina is ready to kick it away. Number 18 and number 82, back ready to return. Kicks it deep. Number 82, field it in the end zone. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Okay. So they'll push back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They'll set up shot at the 10. One man in backfield. Don't give it off here. Broke away from one. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 10. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. They get to the quarterback and end that play before he even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the one. Number 48 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. Hand it off. Gets him off the field. He just, he's knocked out of bounds. Now, that look, I'll tell you what, that last run around that too. Take a deep breath and calm down a bit. First and ten. Ball at 22. Uh, Deacon, come out the shotgun. They'll run 
wrestle him down in the backfield. They gave the fullback a shot at picking up yardage, but he couldn't get anything. That was a beautiful thing to see that defense crash in and bust up the play. Wake Forest goes with the ace set here. Across the middle, that is ball. Number 27 picks it off. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. I'd sell the pass here, and then I'd hand it off to my halfback. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they got it for a while. The team line will work you. And the big fella did an extra job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo, number eight lines up with five wide out. Look, fires across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. That ball should have been kicked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being over. And they had three receivers punched. He dropped back, looking, throws this one out to the left. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Not a good situation here, but you got to do what you got to do. I say just go out there and have to go. Number eight, back to the gun. Drop back to back. He's looking. Across the middle, and it's caught. Brought down. They stop him on fourth down. We talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut him down. Right. Wait for it. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll bring him down. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Right. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Wake Forest goes with the ace set here. Nice play fake. Not across the middle. And he got it. And he's taken down. Wow. Nice catch. Way to look at him. Get the job on the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. It's first and ten, ball on the 39-yard line. They come out of the nickel. It's a ball. No, they faked it. Once and all. And it falls incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wide end. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and ten, ball on the 39. Deacon, line up with two tight ends. He's got him up in the backfield. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback of the passing game, but this time it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. It's third down and 11 to go, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Demon Deacon, come out the shotgun. He drops back. Over the middle. Incomplete pass. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Right. Wait for it. Lining up the front. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by Hannity Sports. They'll take over at the 20. The Tar Heels line up with three wide. Pretty sure they're not going to 
have any working records today. Absolutely not. That's one of the reasons why they're not winning this game. You've got to get out there and pound the football. And the man at the white out is in a zone right now. It's like it. And they hit him in the backfield. He lost too much yardage that time. What do you think, though? I think you can't play the back on that one. I don't care how good an athlete you are. You're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without someone. North Carolina comes out of the shotgun. Across the middle. And they make the stop. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah. Complete those short passes is the key. Because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. North Carolina in a five-wide set. Throws it to the outside. Down the sideline. To the point. To the pin. Touchdown, North Carolina. I like to roll out and run a quarterback here. Get the defense to commit on the run. It will be easy to pick. As expected, they'll go for two points. Nice play, baby. Go to the end zone. They don't get it. North Carolina is lined up for the onside kick here. Here's the onside kick. Well, not much of a choice here. They need to go for the onside kick. For the onside kick. Well, that'll end all the hopes of a miracle. I can say that again. This one is pretty much done. Excellent field position to start the drive. Going with the shotgun here. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and 10, ball on the 26 yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. And they'll run them again. They're brought down. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second and nine. Ball on the 25-yard line. Wake Forest will line up at a jumbo set here. Pull back, hand on that. And down he goes. Short little game there. Just try to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running. And keep that other offense off the field. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 23. Ace backfield. It's just right. He broke his ankle. And they make the stop. He picked up the first down on that one. Yeah, I like the way they ran the ball in that play. There's more than that came from. Believe me. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. Red zone. Go with the shotgun here. And he's stuck behind the line. 
didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They would come with a heavy blitz. Our guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. But that play didn't have a chance. Wake Forest lines up in a goal line set. Begins to the fullback. And then he the through. Hit move. They'll bring him down. Nice run. And although it wasn't a first down, it'll certainly boost this fullback's average. 11 yards out. Wake Forest lines up in a shotgun set. He jukes it. Brought down a seven yard run by the running back. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Plenty Ant. Fuel for the soul. Wait for it. To kick this one off. Number 29 and number 31. Back to return. Kicks it deep. This one's going to be down to the end zone for the touchback. I like trick plays, and this is sort of a trick play. You get the defense to commit to the run for a second. Hopefully, they'll free up some receivers downfield. The tar here. Go with the eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He unloads it. Complete. And they make the stop. And this ball game's over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Wake Forest came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win to this football team. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2006. The final count in this one, Wake Forest, 33, North Carolina, 12. For Lee Corso and Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.
Thank <laughs> you. 